Guys, seriously, guys, seriously, don't, don't, you're not ready for this. Well, I say you're not ready for this. <laughs> I don't have a beard anymore. What's going on? <laughs> Look at this baby face little prick. Hello, everyone. Before we get on with this review, I would like to say hello. Uh, basically, I'm just going to announce the competition winner here because it's past June. And yeah, uh, congratulations goes to Carmine Mena for being the winner. Congratulations, my guy. Thank you for just entering. If you'd like to uh, get in contact with me to claim the prize, uh, link to the Instagram is in the description of this video. Come over there, hit me up, and we'll talk about getting it sent to you. Lovely. Thank you. Uh, cheers for everyone. Uh, cheers for 100 subs. Again, uh, that Q&A is coming out this week. It's been a ball lake of a video to get sorted. But yeah, that's enough of that. That's just wanted a quick summary of to explain who won. And yeah. Anyway, let's get on with this uh, review, back to the original video, wherever I might be. How are you all doing, everyone? How are you? I hope you're all right. So today, we're back with a brand new video. I uh, hope you're all doing well, like I said. Brand new video today. And today, we've got an unboxing video. So in here, we've got a pre-order from the old... For, if I'm correct. If I am correct. I think it is. If I'm correct. If I am correct. I am indeed. So this is a second sight pre-order. You've probably been seeing people get their copies, but today here on the old Figure and Ting channels, we're gonna get ours out and unbox it. So here we go. Ooh, comes in bubble wrap. Never mind, it's already out the bubble wrap. So, quick summary before I get into this film uh, and unboxing. I saw this on that uh, Ryan the channel called, it's like Ryan something, he's Irish, that would be on the screen right now. I watched this video on this film and I really enjoyed it and yeah, and I've said, and I started talking to my housemate because he had seen it years ago, and he said like no one he knew had actually seen it, apart from the one friend who actually watched it with him. So I have decided that I'm going to sit down and watch. Uh, I got this when it was up for pre-order. So yeah, let's quickly grab the old scissors and get through this bubble wrap. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is lovely. But here it is, guys. The special editions of Lake Mungo. Absolutely gorgeous, and that is a thick booklet. Holy shit! But yeah, here it is. I literally got this day one pre-ordered because I was really excited to get this. So obviously this is the limited edition version. There'll probably be a standard edition at some way down the line. You obviously get your nice big hard box as always. Lovely. So there's both sides. So your special features: you got archive of an, uh, commentary with the producer David Rasby and the DOP John Brawley. Uh, new com new audio commentary by Alexander Heller Nicholas and Emma Westwood. Emma Westwood, that name, I think she's been popping up quite a lot actually. Uh, capture captured Spirits, an interview with DOP John Brawley, which uh, I'm going to leave a link to Leon's video uh, from Leon Talks Films. Hi Leon, he goes so in depth with uh, quite a lot of this because he got sent a review copy of the actual special features and stuff like that. So if you want to know more exactly about what's going on, give that a watch for sure. But yeah, I think that's the one where he goes in depth about all the different like cameras and stuff that he used to actually film this film. A Ghost in the Machine, an interview with producer David Rasby, a cop and a friend, an interview with actors Carol, Carol, Carol Plateau and James Lawson, uh, Kindred Spirits, filmmaker Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead on Lake Mungo, hosting Spirits, filmmaker Robert Savage on Lake Mungo, so there's obviously other filmmakers giving their opinions on Lake Mungo. Uh, Simulus and Spirits, a video essay by writer John Josh Nelson, Autopsy of a Family Home, a video essay by filmmaker Joseph Watsip, and you get your deleted scenes. So there's all your special features on there. And obviously the limited edition, you get a rigid rigid slipcase, perfect bound booklet with a brand new video essay by Sarah Appleton, Simon Fitzjohn, Richard Johnson, Mary, Mary Beth Andrews, and S S Shelley... Uh, McMurdo? Murdo? I'm not too sorry, sorry for butchering that name, but yeah, you get a lot of essays by diff lots of different people. So you get one, two, three, four, five. You get five different essays in the booklet. Uh, an interview with actor James Lawson by Alexandra Hale Nicholas, plus rare behind the scenes photos and free collector's art cards. It's kind of annoying that you don't get any special features to do with the director. Going off what I've just read off this back set, there's nothing to do with the director. But to be fair, I was doing some research before this about the director, and there's literally, I can't find anything about him. His name's obviously Joe Anderson. 
uh, directed this film. He's only done like two shorts as well, so I feel like this was the only film he ever made. And like, to be fair, it did do very awful at the box office for the money that was spent on it. But yeah, let's get right into it. So obviously, there's your front. Oh, that's very nice. I like these. That's the back. Kind of gives me a similar design style uh, from the 101's. Uh, something like Deadly Night box set, we obviously have a design and it, go, it goes all the way around, but that that colour scheme is fantastic, I absolutely, oh, I fucking love the look of this box set. Uh, no dents on my box, no, absolutely no dents on my box, which is actually very nice, always happy when that happens. Let's get into it, Sleep. hard bound case, that is a thick booklet, holy shit, look at the size of that. That's ma that's like on par with the fucking <laughs> with the battle royale one. Hold on, give me a second. I want to compare it to something? So I've grabbed a couple booklets into comparison. So obviously here's like the Silent Night, Deadly Night one, quite thin, very like just normal like sort of card. That this could tear very easily. But yeah, obviously actually there's the design, so obviously it goes all the way around, and then yeah, like that. Um, then this is the Stranger. Obviously nicer material, but it's obviously very thin. As you can tell, very thin booklet. Great film, by the way. Another great second sight edition. And then obviously, here's the Lake Mungo one. And I think it's pretty much on par. With, it's very so close to the size of these two. This is obviously just nicer because it comes with the nice hard back edition. So, yeah. So, a very thick booklet, I must admit. And there's just so much content. So many nice stills. Oh, that new book smell. Mm, it smells lovely. Nice, nice, nice size on the text as well. I don't know if anyone really cares about the size of the text, but sometimes it can be a bit too small. Some great stills in here. Holy shit! Oh my god, that's a horrible photo. But yeah, obviously contents of this cast and crew: Layers of the Truth in Lake Mungo. Uh, that's the one by Mary Beth. Mary Beth, uh, Ghost of Oz. That's by Richard Johnson. Breaking the Fifth Wall. Sarah Appleton. Behind the scenes images: A Death in the Family. Uh, that's by Simon Miss John. It hasn't reached me yet, but. It's on its way. Uncertain memories and passages of time in Lake Mungo. That's by Shelley. That's by Shelley McMurdo. McMurdo. Oh, Mardo. I'm so bad. My dyslexia is going through the fucking roof. And um, grief is a magical beast. Uh, an interview with an actor James Lawson. That's by Alexandra Hellenicus. And acknowledgements and production credits. But yeah, absolutely lovely thick booklet. I can't like this. People are going to go crazy on reading this because this is absolutely adorable. And I like how it's a different design on here than it is on the rest of it. Which that I think that's very nice. But yeah, the booklet's very nice. It's a good, very well hat bound book. Obviously, we have the standard Blu ray. It comes on your lovely black case as always. I'm going to just double check if it's got reversible. No reversible. I don't. I didn't. I never actually used to check. Obviously, nothing on the inside. Just a one disc edition. Nothing too spectacular there. Be obviously the same artwork on the front. Lovely. I must say I've been liking these. I didn't like these minimalist styles of um, new logos, but now back to they've actually really grown on me. And then finally, we've got the art cards for the actual set itself. So you've got your three art cards. So the one that's like the Blu-ray front cover and the box front cover. And you've got a landscape one, which is like the black, uh, the back of the main box set. And then you've got an art card, which is like the booklet, which is very nice. Yeah. So that's everything. Those are all the physical contents you get with this. Of course, this this film came out in 2008. It came out in June. It came out and it was filmed and shot in Australia in a place called like Arata. Arata. Sorry to any Australians that watch this and none pronouncing it wrong. Uh, but yeah, it's spelled A R A R A. It's like A R A R A T. You know, so A R A rat basically. Basically, a family, a daughter dies, and it's basically they think they're being haunted by her, and it's basically they're just them going through all trying to going through like the like going through the events of it happening itself. I'm now going to sit down. I'm going to watch this film, and I'm going to get back to you what I think of the actual finished product because then I want to give you a full in-depth review of the film as well as the physical release. So stick around for more. One eternity later. So we're back now, a couple days after I got the original package and unboxed it and got one for everything. And finally today, me and my housemate sat down and we finally we finally sat and watched Lake Mungo. 
And what do I think about this film? It was really enjoyable. I really liked this film, actually. The premise itself, uh, when I first watched it, no, first watched videos on it, I was like, that seems something right in my alley. And I watched it, and I was not disappointed. It was shot really well. All the different cameras used, like the real mockumentary style to it, like the, it really feels like a documentary. If this was shot and made in net, on, on Netflix now, it generally feels like the blueprint that a lot of Netflix documentaries then took because it feels so good. If this was made now, um, this would be, I reckon this would be one that um, people would really like. Honestly, I think this was really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the cast, like everyone in the film, was fantastic. I think they did such a great performance. They were all very believable people. Uh, I'll highlight being, I really like the Palmers. I think they're really good. The Twin Peaks uh, references are very clear for the being the Palmer and this really big. Like, there's lots of twi Twin Peaks and David Lynch style esqueness to it. I, I felt that in this film, which is great. I think it was really great. Uh, like I said, I like the I like the cinematographer's choice of just using the actual cameras and stuff like that to do the footage, like all the different styles. It was really good. So the really crit like when it was so when it was the good cameras, the transfer looked really good. I can't deny it to you. Obviously, some of the actual actual footage, all the footage is going to look dated because that's the stuff it was shot on. It was shot on dated film for that purpose and for that. Uh, reason alone i really like this i think it was a fantastic film i would highly recommend it i don't know if they're going to do a standard edition of this i hope they do a standard edition but if they don't i would highly recommend you pick up the lake manga i would ha highly recommend picking this up i thought this was a really good uh documentary style obviously it's not real so mockumentary style i would highly recommend this lake mongo for sure gets a good rate good rating out of me good praise this was really good. Great thick booklet, some nice art cards, a great Blu-ray, great special features, great design. Honestly, Second Sight have knocked it out of the park with this one. And to be honest, I feel Second Sight are very close behind Arrow on their special editions. I think they do a fantastic job on these lovely sturdy boxes. Uh, great film. I think the collection is like the actual special edition collection they've been doing has been fantastic. Uh, I've been actually picking up more recently because uh, they just do such a great job. And this definitely didn't enjoy it. I'm happy that I finally got to sit down and watch Lake Mungo. It was really great. Absolutely love this. And yeah, it leaves it quite open and leaves it quite ambiguous as well. And I quite like that. But yeah, Lake Mungo gets a great review from me. But that's going to be it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing and review of uh, the new Second Sight edition of Lake Mungo. Obviously, I don't do uh, reviews and unboxings for everything, only certain things. So I'm very happy and highly anticipating this release. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, don't know whether what the next review will be. It might be for the stylist Blu-ray. I'm very excited to uh, get that special, uh, get that edition. Then that might be it. I might be. I might not. I might just say fuck it and just give my opinions at the end. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be reviewing the big Doctor Who. Season 24 box set, that's always going to be reviewed. I'll always review the um, the lovely box sets. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, sorry about no beards, you get to see child like me. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was, but yeah. Cheers for watching, guys. Uh, have yourselves a good day. Go watch a film. And if you can, go watch Lake Mongo. That's all I've got to say for you. Have a good one, guys. Peace.